During testimonies today in front of the Senate Armed Services Committee, both General Petraeus and Ambassador Crocker accused Iran of arming militias inside Iraq responsible for the recent violence. Iran continues to undermine the efforts of the Iraqi government to establish a stable, secure state through the authority, uh, through the training of criminal militia elements engaged in violence against Iraqi security forces, coalition forces, and Iraqi civilians. The extent of Iran's malign influence was dramatically demonstrated when militia elements, armed and trained by Iran, clashed with Iraqi government forces in Basra and Baghdad. Riyad Jarrar, an Iraqi from the American Friends Service Committee, believes that today's testimonies grossly distorted Iran's role inside Iraq. They will disagree on this uh, picture that the administration is trying to, to paint. The administration is trying to say that the U.S. is supporting some groups and Iran is supporting some other groups. And these two groups are fighting in some type of a proxy war. And this is, you know, absolutely... Not, not what's happening in Iraq. This is not what is happening on the ground. What's happening on the ground is that Iran and the United States are supporting the same parties. Uh, Al-Hakim of the Supreme Council and Al-Maliki of Dawa Party uh, came from Iran for 2003. One of them is an Iranian party and the other is an Iranian supported party. Now these two parties ended up because of the geopolitical interests of both uh, Iran and the US. Uh, these two parties ended up allied with Iran and with the United States. So when we speak about the Iranian intervention in Iraq, usually Iraqis don't mean Iran supporting al-Sadr, for God's sake. Al-Sadr is against any type of Iranian influence in Iran, in Iraq, I mean. But when people talk about an Iranian influence, they talk about who's in the green zone, the prime minister and the minister of interior. So, I mean, it's just so funny to see how the administration is trying to skew that and try to say, no, our role in Iraq is exactly the opposite than Iran and therefore this might justify an attack because while Iran and the US actually do support opposite sides in Lebanon and in Palestine and other places around the world, in Iraq it happened that they support the same side because of their interests. Now to use that, the situation in Iraq uh, as a way to say, you know, Iranian influence is bad. I mean, if the U.S. was actually interested in cutting the Iranian influence in Iraq, they will stop training and supporting the Iraqi militias that are <laughs> linked to the Supreme Council and, and the Dawa Party. While pointing out that there's a lot of overlap in the interest in both America and Iran, is there also a, a part of Iran? Is there any truth to this accusation that Iran is somehow fueling some of the violence in Iraq? Is there truth to that? I don't think so. According to my reading, why would Iran send some special Iranian forces called Al-Quds uh, Brigade into Iraq to attack a regime that is run by their own people? Uh, the regime that is run by Mr. Al-Maliki and Al-Hakim. These are the Iranian government's people in Iraq. Why would they send some people in, in the middle of the night to attack this regime? They should support, support it. They do support it. We saw how when Ahmadinejad visited Iraq, no one attacked him because the, the ruling parties, the two Shiite ruling parties who are supported by Iran, were very happy that he was uh, visiting uh, Iraq. Uh, I mean, they are uh, their men, and uh, you know, they, they have the strongest connection to Iran. That said, there are some Iranian weapons that were found with people outside the small circle of the Iranian and U.S. allies. But that doesn't prove people's loyalties. I mean, saying that al-Sadr is loyal to Iran because he had his militias had some Iranian missiles is, is like equivalent to saying that al-Sadr is loyal to the Soviet Union because they have some AK-47s. You know? It doesn't make any sense to, to, re, to track people's loyalty based on what uh, um, weapons they bought from the black market.